the easy and very minimal way to do a click once deployment of a ODP.NET application. This tutorial is a compilation of all the research and reading I've done online. The three main blog that will help us in this process would be this three link. Before we start, I would like to point out my development environment is on the Windows 7 64-bit version using VS 11.NET 4.5 with Oracle Express Edition using this tools set. Many Google search result points out that in order to deploy your application, you require to download additional package from Oracle. I found out that since I'm already developing application odp.net, I don't have to download any other package to get the required DLL file. From this link, the author broke down five main DLL that you need and those five is listed here. Now what you need to do in order to grab those DLL, you have to make sure that you're searching for it in your install when you install the Oracle client. Not the Oracle Express 11G installation, but the Oracle client. For me, the Express was installed in this directory called app and my client was installed in this directory called base. The next step, go into your project and go into the directory that contains your source. Now the first DL that you need to look for is the ORA OPS 11. When you found it, copy and paste into your project folder that continues source. And you continue on with the Oracle data access, you don't have to copy that. For basic, do the OOCI.dll. Next will be ORA and NZS, then ORA OCI -E 11. Now start Visual Studio and load your project. In your Solution Explorer, click on the icon to show all file and select all your article.dll file. Right click, include in project. Go to the properties, right click properties. Make sure you select copy if newer. Next step, go to your reference, right click on article data access, delete it, remove it. And what you need to do is that right click add a reference browse. Now what you need to do is that first you access your Oracle client where you install your Oracle client. So for me, Oracle database, base, product, my version, the client, select the odp.net folder, go to bin, select the number four, and Oracle data access.dll, add, press OK. Once you update your reference and have all the other four Oracle DLL. Right click on your project properties, publish, set your publish directory, application file. You don't have to set that up, but click on prerequisites, select Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5, and then the button that says download prerequisites from the same location as my application, press OK. But you're not ready to publish yet. The next step in the process is you go to this website from Microsoft. That website, how to include prerequisites with a click once application, scroll down and follow the instruction that say to add, let me zoom in, to add installer package for the .NET Framework 4.5, follow step 1, 2, 3. For step four to nine is that if you want to add other type of local other than English. Once you complete step one to three, go back to your Visual Studio and hit publish. Once publish, go to your publish. Now to test your deployment, in your publish folder, click on application file, go inside the, the, the additional folder. Uh, I have two versions because I was debugging earlier. Now to test the deployment. Let me input the IP address, the port, my login credential, and password. Login. To prove that it worked, 
Then we go contact, fill the grid, and we have the, our database.